everybody, today I am going to read the Bible story the title 20, 28 chapter Nahaman met God Nahaman was a great enemy commander in Syria He was a brave soldier but he had that Trouble skin disease called leprosy. Naaman, Israel servant girl said, "Go see the prophet Elijah. In Israel, he can heal you." Naaman took many gifts with him. He took the king's letter to the king of Israel. He reached Elisha's home by his char char oh. Elisha sent out a man with a message. Wash yourself seven times in the Jordan. You will be healed. Jordan River. At first, Naaman was mad to Elisha. He thought it was a silly thing to do. Elisha doesn't even come out to see me. He doesn't even pray for me in the name of God. He doesn't even touch me. Jonathan is not the only river. Naaman was mad and tried to go back home. On his way, Home, his servant told him, Please go to the Jordan River. This is not a hard thing to do. Just wash yourself. <coughs> now I'm when the Jordan, as Elisha said, he washed himself seven times. Nehemiah's skin became clean like that of a child. His skin, his skin was gone. Naaman was very happy. Naaman came back to Elisha. He tried to give gift. Elisha did uh, get the gift. Elisha told him to serve God. Naaman was healed. He didn't did what Elsa said. Elsa told him about God. Hmm. 29 chapter. Jo Josh, Josh repaired the temple. King John loved God. He did what God pleased. He wanted his people do what God pleased. He wanted his people come to God's temple often. God's temple was going not in good shape. People didn't take good care of the temple. I have to repair the house of God. King John made up his mind to repair it. I need money to do it. 
make a big box to collect offering and put it outside the temple ostery. The light has gone. People were happy to help repair the temple. They brought offerings. When the box was full, King's servant took the offering out and put the box back. King John collected a lot of money to repair the temple. I think lots of people gave the money so they could rebuild the temple, right? King John gave the money to the workers. The haired mats on and carpenters. He heard oh, <laughs> the light is back. He heard worker for metal work. They would work very hard. They repented the temple very well. They rebuilt the temple of God and are to it original design. They made things for God's temple with the rest of the money. The temple became a worship place. The temple became a happy place. Oh, the temple is very nice now. Actually, the temple were like this, but now after rebuilding, it is like this. It's very clean. Thirsty chapter, building a new world. Nehemiah was a servant of a Persia king. One day, Nehemiah heard some sad news at the palace. The wall of Jerusalem was broken down. The gates of Jerusalem were burned. Nehemiah cried sev several days. He prayed with e without eating anything. The king asked Nehemiah, Why are you so sad? Nehemiah answered, The temple of God in the in my country is ruined. The gates of the city are burned with fire. The king liked Nehemiah. The king was worried. He asked Nehemiah, What do you want me to do for you? Nehemiah answered, Send me home. You may go. Rebuild the wall. I will give whatever you want, said the king. I think Nehemiah was a very kind person, so king has sent him and king liked Nehemiah. The king gave Nehemiah blocks to build the wall. <clears throat> he took the blocks and returned home. Nehemiah met helpers. They began to rebuild the wall. Some people didn't want it to rebuild the wall. Sambalat and Tobia were very angry at the idea. They laughed at the people of Israel. They tried to harm Nehemiah. They tried to hurt the people of Nehemiah. They didn't want to be rebuild the wall. I don't know why they don't want to rebuild the wall. Wall. God helped Nehemiah build the wall. God helped Nehemiah put up the gates of the city. Nehemiah built 
what God wanted to him to do. It was not easy to rebuild the wall. They rebuilt the wall with God's help. The friends of Nehemiah came to see the wall. They thanked God for helping Nehemiah. They thanked God make for making Nehemiah rebuild the wall. Yes, finish. Yes, today I read. Any stories? Twenty-eight from two, chapter thirteen. I like this story very much. This one. Josh repaired the temple because the king was so kind and listened to God. The temple was not nice, and he think. He made a box from from the temple and collect the offerings. <coughs> Many people has offered their monies, and they were also happy. And there were many workers, and they even worked hard. And it was now it was a good place to. Thank God to praise God. <coughs> okay, I will just tell you the story. Short way. Nyamia was servant of the king, and the king was Nyamia was so sad. So king was worried. So he asked, "Why are you so sad?" And Nyamia said. Temple is broken, and the city, city, country of the gate is also broken. So, king led Nehemiah to build, and he said, "I will give whatever you want." And he was working with her friends. And some people didn't like, and was going to hurt them. And Nehemiah cannot build himself. <coughs> God helped Nehemiah to build. And one day it finished, and they rebuilt the wall. And I will also tell the story. There was one great soldier in Syria, and he had trouble skin. Skin, huh? And he went to Elisa, and he said, "Wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River." And Naaman was so angry that he didn't come and pray for him and touch him, and <coughs> so he was going to go back to him. But one servant of Naaman said, "Just wash your body and Jordan River seven times," <coughs> and Naaman did. And the skin like the child. And Naaman was going to give the present to Elisha, but Elisha didn't get the present. <coughs> yes, this is all. Yes, today we read many stories. Tomorrow I will read the brave Queen Esther. It was fun. Then bye. The brave Queen Esther. Tomorrow I'll read. Bye.